Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sandy Laura Kramers. Today we're gonna go through a question that I got from a patient which was very helpful. She said that she had laryngeal pharyngeal reflux, LPR, which is a condition where the gastric context refluxes through the lower and upper esophageal sphincter. And unlike GERD, this doesn't cause heartburn symptoms, but causes inflammatory symptoms in the throat and larynx, and even sometimes in the nose and ears. And so the thought is that she had done some research that showing that pepsin in the stomach can sometimes be secreted in the tears, and she's absolutely right. And so there is an association. It's not something I see very commonly, but I did a quick PubMed research just on GERD and dry eye, and there are 31 papers that have discussed this, and I did find the paper she described. And then there is this one called laryngeal uh, reflux and ocular disease state-of-the-art review from 2023. I'm just going to show you guys this one here. And so yes, the role of laryngeal reflux in the development of ocular disorders has not been demonstrated and the data are limited, but it seems theoretically conceivable that pepsin may reach the lacrimal duct area through the hypopharyngeal nasal gaseous reflux uh, events. Future studies using objective testing for diagnosis and pepsin detection into the tear and nasal mucosa are needed in order to explore this potential relationship. So it's a question I have not asked my patients routinely if they have GERD or this laryngeal uh, laryngopharyngeal reflux, but it has been reported. So she is right. There is an association. And I think the reason why we haven't seen it that often is because we have not asked patients. So thank you to uh, my patient KW for sending us this question. And I will find out if I find out more, I'll post more on my uh, YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.